Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about the intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of logarithmic functions. So unahin muna natin guys yung intercepts and zeros of logarithmic function. An intercept in mathematics is where a function crosses the x or y axis. Tama? So the x-intercepts are where function cross the x-axis. So, they are also called the roots, solutions, and zeros of a function. Okay, so makukuha natin guys yung ating uh, x-intercept by setting y equal 0. Okay, then solve for the value of x. So, the zero of a function is the x value that makes the function equal to 0. So, that is f of x equal 0. So, in this section, our discussion will focus only on the x-intercept of the given logarithmic function. So, let's have our first example. Find the intercepts and zeros of f of x equals the logarithm of 2x plus 3. So, to find the uh, intercept, guys, or the x-intercept, ang kailangan lang natin gawin, guys, is iset si y equals 0. Tama? Since alam naman natin, si f of x, yan din yung ating y. So, we can equate logarithm of 2x plus 3 to 0. Nakuha? Then ngayon, solve natin yung value ni x to get our x-intercept. Okay? Then, to solve for x, ang gagawin lang natin dito guys is to transform our logarithmic equation to exponential form. So, dito guys, so since invisible yung ating base, so understood yan na meron tayong 10 na base. Tama? So, kung i-rewrite natin to to exponential form, so same lang to guys ni 2x plus 3 equals 10. Ito yung ating base. Then yung 0, this will be our exponent. Okay? Then, simplify natin guys. We have 2x plus 3 equals 10 raised to 0. So, this is positive 1. Okay? Then, solve for x. So, pwede nating malipat si positive 3 by using the subtraction property. So, that is 2x equals 1 minus 3. Okay? So, simplify natin. We have 2x equals... 1 minus 3, so that is negative 2. Then we can divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, maka-cancel out yung ating coefficient. So, ang x natin is equals to negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1. Okay? So, ngayon meron na tayong x-intercept. Ang x-intercept natin, guys, is x is equals to negative 1. When y is equals to 0. Tama? Then, kagaya na sinabi natin sa definition kanina, yung ating x-axis, they are also called as 0 of a function. Okay? So, parehas lang sila ng value, guys. So, therefore, ang zeros ng ating logarithmic function is negative 1. Okay? So, let's proceed to example number 2. Find the intercept and zeros of f of x equals the logarithm of x squared. So, applying the same procedure, uh, just equate yung ating logarithmic function to 0. Okay, so after natin ma-equate yan, we can now solve for x. So, para ma-solve natin yung x guys, transform natin yung ating logarithmic equation to exponential form. So, again, uh, invisible yung ating base. So, understood yan na meron tayong 10. Tama? Then, rewriting our logarithmic equation to exponential form, we have x squared equals yung 10. That is our base. Then, yung 0, this will be our exponent. Okay, then simplifying the equation, we have x squared equals 10 raised to 0. So, any number raised to 0, that is positive 1. Okay, 
Then solving for x guys, extract natin si square root, both sides. So x is equals to positive negative 1. Tama? So ngayon we have uh, two x-intercepts. Ang x-intercepts natin, we have positive 1 when y is 0 and negative 1, 0. Okay? Then, we also have two zeros of logarithmic function. And that is negative 1 and positive 1. Nakuha, guys? So, ngayon, let's proceed to our uh, vertical asymptote. Okay? So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng vertical asymptote of logarithmic function? So, the asymptote is a line that a curve approaches as it heads towards infinity. So, as you can see dito sa ating graph, ang asymptote natin dito guys is nasa y-axis. Ito. Okay? So, pag inobserve nyo guys yung behavior ng ating graph ng logarithmic function, yung, lo yung graph natin guys is approaching doon sa ating asymptote pero hindi siya magta-touch. Okay? Or hindi siya mag intersect doon. Kahit na decreasing yung ating uh, graph, as you can see, approaching lang yung ating graph doon sa ating asymptote. Okay? So, ngayon, paano ba natin makukuha uh, yung, kung nasaan yung ating vertical asymptote given yung ating logarithmic function? So, magbe-base lang tayo guys doon sa ating argument. Okay? For example, find the vertical asymptote of the graph f of x equals the logarithm of x minus 2. So, dito guys, ito yung ating argument, yung x. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo lang guys is i-equate natin si argument to 0. Okay, then isasolve natin yung x. So, since wala naman tayong isasolve dito, eto na ngayon guys yung ating vertical asymptote. Nakuha guys? So, ibig sabihin, ang method lang uh, to find the vertical asymptote is i-equate natin si, vertical, si argument to 0. By the way, ang argument natin, eto yung number kasama nung logarithm. Okay? So, let's proceed to example number 2. Find the vertical asymptote of the graph of f of x equals to the logarithm of 3x minus 2. So, in this case, si 3x minus 2, ito yung ating argument. Tama? So, equate natin yan to 0. We have 3x minus 2 equals 0. Then, solve for x. Okay, so by uh, by using the addition property of equality, that is 3x equals positive 2. Tama? Then, divide both sides of the equation by 3. So, ang x natin is equals to 2 third. Okay? So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating uh, vertical asymptote. Okay? So, next, number 3. Find the vertical asymptote of the graph of f of x equals the logarithm of x plus 3 plus 2. So, dito, uh, yung quantity x plus 3, ito yung ating argument. Okay? So, isiset natin si argument equals to 0 para masolve yung ating vertical asymptote. So, lipat natin yan. That is x equals negative 3. So, ito na ngayon yung ating vertical asymptote. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo kung paano ba kinukuha yung ating vertical asymptote, intercepts, and zeros 
ng ating logarithmic function. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!